Hey there YouTube, it's Brian Ryan here, back with another video. And today I'm going to show you how to expand your micro SD card on the 3S XL. So first off, i show you that you want to take off those two back screws right there. And then once you do that, you want to take your actual stylus pen and use that tip part to crank out both sides. Now once you pull off the back part here, you want to see that you have your battery, it is removable, and then you have your micro SD card slot. That's This is the 4 gig that I originally pulled out, I'll show you that you just slide it in there and then it pulls out. Sometimes it's harder to push in than usual, but yeah, just click, you'll feel a click come in and you'll feel a click come out. Go ahead, take it out and i'll put a link in the description below but i got recently a 128 gig one that came with its own sd card reader well micro sd to sd so i plug it into my laptop and i'll show you in a bit how to format it because that's how you need to format it so here's your little adapter that you got and here's the 128 gig that i have All right, so I'm going to put my 120 gig into my 3DS and you're going to see that it will not load. You actually have to change the partition on it to be NTFS and also change the allocation size to 32 kilobits. So what you have to do is you see it cannot detect the micro SD card, so that's obviously a problem. You have to have it FAT32. And when you go ahead and do this you need a actual software it's called mini tool partition kit or mini tool partition wizard 9.1 i will put it in the description below so right now i'm going to put the 128 gig into my laptop and go on from there so once you have it downloaded you basically go ahead and open it up It'll give you this weird thing, yeah, it's not a virus, you just hit launch application, and from there it'll open up its wizard. So you see below that, you see the, it's a 119 gigs, so I go ahead and it says that it has unallocated space of like 16 megabytes. So I go ahead and let it have the full thing. So you go ahead and you format it, I name it 3DSXL, change it to FAT32, I leave it default you can do the 32 kilobytes then you hit apply because it is pending that so it goes ahead it does it now when doing so you will not lose any of your data you'll still have all your games fine and everything I went ahead and I went to go play Luigi's Mansion and you'll see that later in the video and everything is fine so once it's done you go ahead and pull it out and You'll go ahead and I'll show you right now. Pull it out and you put it back into your 3DS. This is the 128 gig right here, so you know what I'm putting in there. Go ahead, plop it in there, and you don't really want to put it on the case because if it doesn't work, then there. So I was going to do it, but no. So you go ahead, boot on your 3DS. Mine, for some reason, took longer than expected, so I sped that up. Okay, go to your settings, and you'll see it's going to be about 975,000 blocks. Obviously, that's a lot of blocks, so you go ahead, you go to your 3DS, and then I'll show you right now, just to prove that it's all in there, it's working. It recognizes it. You see open blocks are 975,017, which shows it. So let me show you running Luigi's Mansion. Basically, go ahead and plop it in there, and you are going to see that all my save is still there. So no matter what you do, your save will always be there. So this way, when you want to download all your game content, you can. No worries, you see. There you go. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.